Played really 100, well. Yeah, hundred percent agreement on Kaminsky. He needed to show that he's not randomly yeah. getting washed out of nowhere, and, and that was much much better from him than what we had seen recently. Um, something else I wanted to mention real quick, as far as the penalty goes, is just yeah. that, um, like you know, you would think Trilonov kind of drew that foul. Would Trilonov be the one to take it? That kind of thing. I personally love that Karaman wants to take it. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, you know, I've been critical of him at times as we've talked about on the pod in terms of how I feel about him as a player in terms of his quality generally, but um, particularly this season, in the absence of a lot of strong personalities or strong performances from other players, he's really sort of like had a campaign publicly to like make himself the leader and sort of like the talisman. He's like, I want to play up top. I want to be a strike. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to play wide. I want to play like, I want to score goals. Um, And in that moment, you know, in front of the home crowd, zero, zero against a team that we, we need to be beating. He wants to step up and and kind of take that pressure on him uh, in that moment. So I respect that a lot. Um, And and was pleased that he did that. And it's a good thing, you know, and, and I think Darko talked about it after the game and not like being upset, but like Darko would have taken it too. And I think it's a great thing if you have, um, a clear pecking order established, but also multiple people that are chomping at the bit to have those kind of high pressure opportunities. And that's what we need more of is those kind of people stepping up to the plate. Absolutely. I think um, you need that for sure. You need to have absolutely need to have a pecking order. Uh, should p- p- players should know when when they're when they're supposed to be called right uh, to come up and set the kick. Karaman, uh, five home games, four goals in the same celebration. That's what uh, Shaka tweeted out. Uh, interesting statistic too to kind of go along with what you were saying. Um, home form, home form. It seems this year, last year, and probably maybe the year before, but certainly last year, not so great at home. Uh, we we're much better on the road for whatever reason. This year, we've kind of turned things around. We're actually sixth best team from home this season, which is shows you how bad we are on the road. We're probably dead last on the road. Uh, but at home this season, uh, through 11 games, we have um, 20 goals, 15 uh, 15 goals against, only plus five there. But again, we're in terms of points, we're we're up there. With the, with it's, the best it's, not, it's not surprising when I think Schalke, Schalke had the highest match attendance of any game in either of the two divisions this past weekend. Yeah, yeah. Um, and and I, I kept seeing this. I don't know if this is true or not, but that, that the second division had a higher attendance than the first division for the first time ever. That more people went to second division games this past weekend than that attended first division games. Obviously, Schalke with like a sixty thousand person, you know, attendance is yeah. a, was a big part of that. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, it's big stadium. Still, some great sure. big clubs there. Kaiserslautern as well. But that's yeah, that's a unreal statistic. I don't know if the, even the championship could boast something like that, or you know, any of the big really cool. second divisions. It's very cool. Uh, not surprising from Schalke, obviously.